DU men's tennis is off to the best start in program history. Right now we're at 43 in the country. Um, throughout the year we've been as high as 28 in the country, ranked ahead of power programs like Stanford, Georgia, Michigan. That's an amazing feat for a mid-major. So why aren't people talking about it? I mean, Denver's got a lot to talk about. Uh, obviously, it's a great city. We've got some great sports teams. I think tennis sometimes goes a little bit under the radar. Hopefully, this helps bring in some awareness to the sport and, and to DU uh, tennis. As you've probably guessed, this group has an international flavor. Eight countries are represented on the nine-man roster. They come from different backgrounds, but these players have bought into the same culture, a winning culture. They've had a lot of success the last three years. Uh, they've won a lot of matches, and uh, you know we've been enjoying the, the winning so far this year. That's the most special thing about this team, that you know everyone had the same common goals, and everyone's willing to work uh, equally as hard to get them. The 19-0 Pioneers have a chance to serve up a fifth straight conference title this weekend. Maybe that'll get the conversation going. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, the records and stats are what brings people here, and then the tennis is what keeps them here. Yeah. So if we can bring more people and win the fifth straight regular season, I think that would be huge for us. And deserving of notoriety, because that would keep Denver's hopes alive for a ninth NCAA tournament appearance in the last 12 years. Following the Pios, I'm Aaron Anderson.